Welcome to 5 Minutes With. Today's guest, Cloverdale Catholic School teacher, Mrs. Nat Nadeau. Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes With. I'm really pleased to welcome special guest today, Mrs. Nat Nadeau from Cloverdale Catholic School. Welcome, Nat. Hi everybody, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. Um, how long have you been working at Cloverdale Catholic now? I'm just finishing out my third year. Really? Yeah. Feels like longer though. It, uh, yeah, I kind of, it kind of felt like family right away. So, um, yeah, yeah. You've been a great fit. And then when you finally started working at our school, like so many other teachers, I think to myself, why did it take so long for you to come to our school? (laughs) Well, I've been pining after your school for a while. So finally you you let me in. (laughs) So tell us. Tell us so, where you came from. Where have you been before Cloverdale Catholic? I um, I started my teaching career at Our Lady of the Assumption in Port Coquitlam, and I still have friends from there. Um, so that was a really great starting place for me. Then moved to St. Catharines, which is also an awesome school that I worked there for 17 years. That's how much mm-hmm. I worked there. I um, taught pretty almost every grade, elementary grade including doing learning resource. So I've kind of done it all, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but really loving grade five. So it's my favorite. Well, and you're doing a great job. Um, Thanks. It's interesting that you're from, you started at Assumption because in many ways I find that school to be very similar to ours. I, I think so. I think it is too. I, the community there is, um, the staff community, but also like just commu- community in general of families. And um, there's yeah. that feeling there yeah. at Cloverdale. Okay. Yeah, and the kids there don't tie their shoes or tuck in their shirts. <laughs> um, and you have some other connections to our community. Tell, tell the audience the extent to which the Pastrine family has infiltrated Cloverdale Catholic School. <laughs> well, we are, we are working on taking over, <laughs> but uh, um, well, Mr. Pastrine, David is my brother. He's my younger brother and uh, his wife, Fabiola. Fabiola. Um, Mrs. Pastrine is uh, obviously my sister-in-law then, and Royston Grosjean uh, is my nephew. Right. So there's a handful of us and, and some nieces and nephews in there too now. So that's right. fun to teach with them, to yeah. Yeah, have them in the school. Well, that's a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys can hang on long enough, maybe you can get Elio a job at the school. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> there's a lineup of new kids who could come for sure. <laughs> Now you're a, you're a woman of many talents. I understand you enjoy the arts. You like music. You like making art. Um, tell me your your style of music that you enjoy. What's a musician that you really enjoy? If you could listen to anything, um, I love like a lot of different music. And if actually having like young people in my house, I like a lot of like modern kind of indie music too because I hear it a lot. But um, probably my. Uh, if I to pick like one all-time favorite, I really like Paul Simon. Um, in my younger years, I liked, you know, Annie Lennox and uh, David Bowie and those kinds of artists also. So they were super creative and I, mm-hmm. I like that about them and a little bit unusual. Um, but Paul Simon, I think, is my favorite. Yeah. Okay. And what about your art? Like that painting behind you, that's not yours, is it? It's not okay. mine. Um, but do you enjoy painting? I do. I love painting actually. Um, especially watercolor painting. Mm-hmm. I like this painting here though, because it's, um, it's not a Van Gogh painting, but it's just in, it's very similar to a Van Gogh. He's, but he's my favorite artist, I think, cause he's such an interesting person. Right. And, uh, um, like, I like, I get inspiration kind of from his artwork, but so I love his, his work too, but. Um, watercolor painting, I think, is what I really like to do if I can just have the day to myself and spread out and paint. Yeah. Well, when this uh, school closure happened, I expected to have more spare time get yeah. to do things like that, but it hasn't happened for me. Has it happened for you at all? No, it hasn't. I still have hope. I actually brought the, my box of like painting brushes and my colors out and found my watercolor paper but it's still in a pile in my dining room and I don't I haven't got to it yet but I'm still I'm still gonna do it 
happens. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You know, the rumblings are that we might end up going back this year. Uh, and I would be happy to go back. I miss my students. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I really do. So before we go, uh, is there anything you want to say to the staff and students at Cloverdale Catholic? Um, what do I want to say? I want to say, hang in there. We are together in this and um, I miss you guys. And I hope I get to see you soon. Well, for sure we get to see them on May the 14th. That's right. I'm fun. excited, yeah. All right, thanks for joining me on Five Minutes with Nat. Thanks for having me. Bye everybody.